ChatGPT search is now available in free plan, basically for everyone without any subscription. Plus, you can use voice mode in ChatGPT on your web browser. Now, it is also available in free plan. No subscription required. Let me show you guys how these things work. So you can see I'm using the free plan, okay? And I'm using the ChatGPT client for Windows. If you don't know, yeah, official ChatGPT app is now available for Windows. I also did a video on that. You can use this or you can also use this on web browser. It's gonna look and work similarly whatever you prefer okay so let me actually use the web browser because there is another thing that i want to show you guys so whenever you ask anything to the chat gpt let's say for example what is the height of mount everest now we can ask this directly as usual by clicking on this but we can now actually do a web search so we have to click on this option search for web okay select that and then these icons will turn blue and then if i enter or click on this button let's say i'm gonna hit enter it's gonna do a web search so you'll get the description okay about that whatever i asked okay and then a couple of news and articles about the uh, mount everest right or whatever you have asked and it will also link you to some websites where it pulled out the answer from so this is the chat gpt search so basically now it can do web searches just like google and gemini so you can ask whatever you want make sure to you know click on this icon when you want to do a web searches and then ask whatever you want to ask let's say for example i'm just going to ask this follow-up question how cold is it right now in mount everest okay so it's going to do the web search and hopefully it will also give me a correct you know uh, temperature of that it's december 17 is it yeah so today wow minus 28 degrees celsius that's that's really cold <laughs> so it will also link you to the sources and all that so basically it's 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 like using a google search or gemini now here is another feature that i also noticed in free plan that is the voice mode when you open a new chat in chat gpt in your web browser now you'll see this icon okay uh, when you hover your mouse it will say use voice mode so basically you click on this it's gonna open the conversation thingy yeah, yeah. hello hey. <laughs> hello how's it going it's good it's good how about you i'm doing great thanks for asking anything exciting going on today no i'm just here just for fun that's awesome sometimes it's nice to just relax and have a Stop. chat Stop. and about all right take care have a good one. You can also interrupt this. That is also cool. And hey, you can also up? change the Feel voices. Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. Hello. It's love. Hey, how's it going? Hi there. Nice to meet you. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Happy holidays. So there is this new uh, voice for the holidays, I guess. Hey, the same time voice. Feel Hello. Hey, how's it? Hi there. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. How are you doing, Santa? Ho, ho, ho. I'm as jolly as ever. The elves are busy making toys, and the reindeer are gearing up for the big night. How about you? Are you getting into the holiday spirit? Yeah. That's wonderful to hear. The holiday season is such a magical time. Have you been thinking about what you'd like for Christmas this year? Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Can you stop? Pause for a moment. Of course. Take your time to think about it. The holidays are all about joy and reflection. Whenever you're ready to chat again, I'm here. Ho, ho, ho! Well, this is actually amazing. <laughs> okay, they put the Santa. Uh, that's, that's, ho, really, ho, ho. that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely going to be really amazing thing for the kids. Or, you know, they can chat with Santa and all that. Yeah, this is... This is actually really good. <laughs> now, in terms of functionality, uh, I feel like ChatGPT is better now because Gemini doesn't have this conversation feature uh, in web. You can only use it on Android phones with the app and all that. There is no, uh, you know, official 
you know, Gemini application for Mac or Windows, but ChatGPT has its client for almost everything. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.